Good morning, I'm Bianca Perez and you're watching Bishop No News. Next Monday is National DNA Day and Bishop No's Biology Club continues to make this tradition special, even virtually. Keep an eye out for a special video from the Biology Club Monday morning to celebrate. Good luck to the Bishop No speech team as they compete in the epidemic extemporaneous online speech tournament this weekend. The winners for last Thursday's Essential Worker Spirit Week ended in a four-way tie. Congratulations to Alejandro Magana, Sofia Mendez, Rebecca Herrera, and Jonathan Orozco. The second period honors English class got a special surprise from a celebrity guest this past Tuesday. Joe Gatto from the television show Impractical Jokers Zoom bombed Miss Renoir's class to uplift the spirits and provide a little bit of comedic relief during virtual. Hi guys, it's Joe Gatto from Impractical Jokers. If you don't know, I've been crashing high school Zoom classes uh, all week and uh, your teacher, the very cool Miss Renwald, uh, submitted for me to pop in here and you guys were selected. So <laughs> here I am popping into your class to say hello to everybody. Hi, thanks for having me, Miss Renwald. Renwald submitted a request to have Gatto make an appearance after seeing his post on Instagram about entering for a chance to have him pop into a high school Zoom class for a quick second to say hello. Uh, but it's nice to meet you guys. I just wanted to take some time to say hello and, uh, you know, hope you guys are doing okay. And just, you know, give a little positivity during these crazy times. It's crazy for the whole world. So just keep your head up as best you can. And, uh, you know, you have awesome teachers like Miss Renwald who's trying her best to uh, keep you guys uh, on the straight and narrow during this. So, and thanks for having me and good luck to you as well. Okay. For this week's quarantine interview, freshman Serena Rardin shows us how, to, how she bonds with her exotic pets. Julia Martinez and today I interviewed Serena asking her a couple of questions on how she keeps busy during quarantine with her pets. Here are her answers. Being home in quarantine lets you bond more with your pets especially because you have more time to give towards them so you're able to play with them to maybe give them treats to even cuddle them. Some specific things I would do is with my cat I'll usually uh, play with a laser or use a laser to play with him. And he has a bunch of toys, so I will usually just throw them around so he can start messing with them. And for my gecko, I would just let him out sometimes and let him crawl around my bed or something or even in my hands. I've had my cat for about three years now, so he turned three on April 8th. And my gecko is a little bit older than him, so he's like three and a half years old. My cat's name is Logan and my gecko's name is Mushu. I mainly wanted to get a gecko because I would always go on YouTube looking at like random pet videos and this one lady I, ha I saw, she had like a bunch of geckos and lizards and I thought the geckos were like the coolest thing I have ever seen so I just ended up getting one. I don't know anyone else who has a gecko, that's like one of the reasons too why I wanted to get them because it's not a pet that I usually saw with people I knew. So I thought it would be cool to be the only one to have a gecko. Logan is a short-haired black cat and my gecko, Mushu, he's a leopard gecko. I'm Jessica Sada. I'm currently a senior at Purdue University Northwest and I graduated Bishop Noel in 2016. Um, I am a health studies major with a minor in biology. Um, so my plans are after college, is to get a job in the healthcare field. I'm going to be graduating in December of 2020. I have one more semester left, um, so I'm six credits away from graduating. Do I feel prepared going into the workforce or the work field after graduating? Yes, I do feel prepared academically when it comes to my degree choice. Um, so I do feel prepared academically when it comes to my field as much as I can be, but I do feel that um, once I get into the field and I start doing uh, more hands-on training, um, I will be more prepared for my actual um, occupation. Uh, now, what are you supposed to do now that you're home from school? Um, well, like I said, I do go to Purdue University Northwest, so I am um, staying, I did live at home my four years. Right now, my plans are just to finish up school. Um, finish as strong as they can and 
hopefully in uh, the summer, like I said, I can get an internship and kind of get that experience that unfortunately I missed out on um, this semester. So how do I feel that my last semester of college is getting cut short? So as every other probably college senior feels, um, it is a disappointment and it is kind of a letdown because you do work very hard and you sacrifice a lot to finish your, or to get your bachelor's degree. And it's kind of a highly anticipated point in your life and to get it kind of taken away from you is a letdown and it is a bummer. Um, but I just look at it as I'm proud of myself for making it through these four years and finishing out strong. Um, we are having the opportunity to walk in December if we would like. Um, so I do have that opportunity as well, which is great. Um, I'm not sure um, if I will be taking that opportunity or not to walk, or if I will just kind of continue um, to work, you know, start my start my um, career and kind of just um, move forward. Finally, let's take a look at Student Council's weekly segment of Good News. Hello, everybody. I'm Chris. I'm Felicity Miranda. And welcome to your Good News segment. How are you doing today, Felicity? I'm doing pretty good. What about you? I'm doing pretty good. I wish there was more sunshine, but I'm doing pretty good nonetheless. Me too. So let's start with some good news, shall we? We can read the first one. All right. This is coming from, who is this coming from? Savannah Bet Betnitas. She, I created and designed my own board game while I had extra spare time. Also during this time, I get to talk to my friends and be there for them during this time and they're there for me. That's great of you and may come just publish that board game. <laughs> I'm glad you have good friends like that. This is from oh, yeah. Kathleen Celeb. She said, me and my little sister have been working on a huge creative world in Minecraft. We've done a huge railway that spans across both our houses and two separate villages. Ooh, creative. I like it. Ooh, this is coming from Isaiah Rivera. I'm sort of learning how to manage my time better with homework and doing things I want to do, like playing video games. Also, one of my games I have is getting a huge update, so I won't be as bored. That's good. I need to play some games sometime soon. I haven't done that in a while. Our last one. It's for me. Um, I taught my new puppy how to sit, and I'm currently teaching him how to dance, so hopefully that goes well. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's, that's hilarious. <laughs> uh, wait, why are you teaching him how to dance? How to dance, too? Just, like, twirl. Ooh. <laughs> That's advanced. Mm -hmm. All right, so if you guys want to send us good news, use the link that Miss Fredrickson will send to you every Monday or Mr. Bergen. And with that, have a great day. Keep on smiling and embrace the future. Bye.